Meghan Markle and Prince Harry conceived their royal baby in the Queen Mother's Scottish residence, a royal source has claimed. The couple, who wed in May, are thought to have conceived their baby at the Castle of May in Caithness, a source told Daily Express columnist Adam Hellicker. The source revealed that Harry and Meghan are believed to have conceived their first child during the summer when they joined Prince Charles for a five-day holiday at the royal castle. Harry and Meghan were said to have spent a lot of time in their room during the summer trip to Scotland. The source said, they stayed there for five days and, even though they went for long walks during the day, nobody bothered them and they were very self-contained. They spent a lot of time in their room, so we think that's where it happened. The Castle of May was a residence of the Queen Mother, who would spend three weeks at the castle in August and about ten days in October every year. The speculation comes as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are part way through their 16-day overseas tour of Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, and Tonga. The Duke and Duchess announced Meghan was expecting their first child last week as they landed in Sydney. Meghan cradled her baby bump with her hand today as she stepped out for a walkabout on Fraser Island, after Harry attended three earlier engagements on his own. A royal late issued a statement insisting Meghan isn't sick, after the mother-to-be pulled out of a number of engagements. The royal aide said, she isn't sick, she just had a tiring few days and we were concerned about the roads on the island which are incredibly bumpy and uncomfortable for anyone, let alone a pregnant woman. But the Duchess was very keen to rejoin the Duke at the last engagement of the day to greet the people of the island. And protective Harry has reportedly urged Meghan to pace herself after she had a late night at the opening of the Invictus Games on Saturday. A source said, she is not sick, just tired. We have to try to pace her. We have to make sure she is well paced and not overdoing it. She had a very late night last night. She wants to do everything but Prince Harry is encouraging her to pace herself. We want to make sure she gets enough rest at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day. If it has been a very late night due to unforeseen circumstances, we have to adjust for that. Meghan is due to give birth in spring 2019. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are on day six of their first royal tour as a married couple. Yesterday they received an enthusiastic welcome at the delayed opening ceremony of the fourth Invictus Games, Harry's flagship sporting event for injured or sick army veterans. Today the newlyweds, who are expecting their first child, were expected to attend the first day of the Invictus Games competition, created by the Duke of Sussex in which more than 500 competitors from 18 countries will compete. But only Prince Harry will make an appearance at the official planned engagements as Kensington Palace have said Meghan's schedule has been cut back following a busy program. Highlights from today's events include road cycling time trials, which kick off at 9.30am local time, 12.30am BST. The cycling will be followed by the sailing at 11am local time. 1 a.m. BST. The final major event of the day will be the Road Cycling Criterium, at 1.30 p.m. local time, 3.30 a.m. BST. The Duke of Sussex has arrived at the Botanic Gardens in Sydney to meet Invictus competitors and staff. He has not been joined by Meghan as her schedule has been cut back following a busy program. Kensington Palace said, after a busy program, the Duke and Duchess have decided to cut back the Duchess's schedule slightly for the next couple of days, ahead of the final week and a half of the tour. Cindy Harbour provides a spectacular backdrop for the Invictus Games debut of sailing. Boats will sail from the Cruising Yacht Club of Australia at Rushcutters Bay to Farm Cove. Meghan and Harry are expected to be watching the event as it makes it Invictus Games debut. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will be at Royal Botanic Gardens to cheer on the Invictus Cindy in cycling. The parents-to-be will then enjoy a slap-up lunch with the Australian Prime Minister, Scott Morrison. Invictus family and friends will also join the special luncheon. Harry and Meghan will then watch the sailing competition, which kicks off at 1 a.m. BST. They will then attend a private Invictus Games reception at Governor House. Twitter user Nick Steiner penned, at Invictus Games, 
so inspiring and emotional. And good to show the kids what real grit looks like. We're in awe. Another said, Gary Robinson smashing it at the Invictus Games. Meanwhile, Aussie politician Gladys Berejiklian wrote, at the Royal Botanic Gardens to watch the start of the Invictus Games cycling. All the best to all of the amazing athletes competing. You are an inspiration. Prince Harry launched the event with a very personal speech at the Sydney Opera House forecourt. The father-to-be gushed about the couple's exciting baby news, which was announced hours after he and wife Meghan landed in Australia earlier in the week. He said to huge applause, I have been so proud to be able to introduce my wife to you and we have been so happy to be able to celebrate the personal joy of our newest addition with you all. The Games is the biggest highlight of the royal tour for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The excitement of the tour has been added to by the news of Meghan's pregnancy as eager royal fans begin to notice traces of a baby bump. Prince Harry and wife Meghan will begin the first day of the Invictus Games Cindy by attending the cycling competition at the Royal Botanic Garden. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will watch one of the road bike time trials before meeting competitors and team staff in the competition hub. The royal couple will also present the gold silver and bronze medals at the event. After the cycling, the pair will head to the pavilion for the official reception hosted by Prime Minister Scott Morrison. There they will meet representatives from veteran support groups and mental well-being organizations. Later in the afternoon, the Duke and Duchess will watch the Invictus Games sailing final from a family and friends boat in Farm Cove. Tonight, the couple will attend a private reception for the Invictus Games Foundation at Government House. The event tests speed and skill as key strengths come to the fore on the picturesque Royal Botanic Garden course where cyclists try to beat the clock and each other. Fans in the crowd are waving Union Jack flags as the competitors fly past. Harry and Meghan are expected to join the onlookers in spurring the challengers on. Meghan Markle is expecting her first child with Prince Harry next spring, but how exactly will she will spending her maternity leave and spare time? Kensington Palace confirmed Meghan and Harry will welcome their first baby next year who will be seventh in line to the throne. The palace said, their royal highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. Their Royal Highnesses have appreciated all the support they have received from people around the world since their wedding in May and are delighted to be able to share this happy news with the public. Meghan is expecting to give birth in the spring of 2019 and she has reportedly had her 12-week scan, and many Royal correspondents are speculating that she will give birth in April or May next year. The gender of the baby has not been confirmed and Meghan and Harry are likely to follow in William and Kate's footsteps by not revealing the gender until after the child is born. The couple are on their first official foreign tour together in Australia, which is where they broke the news of the pregnancy. When asked by a group of schoolchildren what they would name their firstborn on board a tram in Melbourne during their trip, the Duchess said, We've been given a long list of names from everyone, we're going to sit down and have a look at them. Ella Burns a 12-year-old pupil from Albert Park Primary School said, she said that she hasn't thought of one as it was still quite early. Meghan will be taking time off after the birth of her first child, just as Kate has done when she gave birth to Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. The Duchess of Cambridge returned to work on October 2 after a six-month break from official engagements. Royal biographer Duncan Larkham told Bazaar.com, it is traditional for new royal mums to take a six-month break from official engagements. Meghan revealed to be like most of us when she revealed what she likes to do in her spare time. The Duchess told 12-year-old Ella she didn't have much spare time but when she does she enjoys relaxing and watching TV shows. But she did not disclose which was her favorite, there's heaps, I can't think of a specific one. The Duchess of Cambridge did not spend much time relaxing during her maternity leave this time as she spent a lot of time doting on her two other children, Prince George, 5 and Princess Charlotte, 3. Kate carried on with her motherly duties, picking up and dropping George at Thomas's Battersea. 
and dropping off her daughter Charlotte to Wilcox Nursing School, which is one mile away from home. The Duchess tries to keep a low profile during her maternity leave, but some images from her pregnancy of Princess Charlotte showed her dropping George to Buckingham Palace for his swimming lessons. Despite Kate being on maternity leave earlier this year she was spotted in public on numerous occasions. Namely at the royal wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, Prince Louis christening and trooping the colour. 